guys, this is All Things Cupcake 2000, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to make this creamsicle, and uh, I'm going to teach you how to make the cream filling and stuff like that. So, um, let's get started. First, you're going to need white polymer clay and an outside color of your choice. So, the inside of a creamsicle is, I'm sorry about that, the inside of a creamsicle is ice cream and the outside is a creamsicle is what I think it is. <laughs> I'm not quite sure. And then you're going to need a roller and it would look like that. And you're also going to need a blade and a toothpick, which I have to go get, so one minute. <laughs> So here are the toothpicks. Anyways, so what you're going to do first is you're going to make the filling and I need to open my white clay because this is my first time using this batch. So I'm going to condition my clay, which should be pretty easy here. So I'm gonna probably need about, oops, I'm so bad at moving, I'm so bad at using this camera. So I'm going to need about hmm, this much white clay and um, I'm going to roll it First condition your white clay and then roll it into a ball and um, flat in it on a mat and flatten it lightly. Um, I like mine probably to be this thick and then kind of squish the sides lightly and then flatten the bottom again. So you kind of get a cone um a half um oval kind of shape <laughs> so once you get it to like squeeze it and play with it around with it um just kind of play around and get the shape you want so that is a shape i'm pretty sure i want and so we're gonna just put that aside for right now <laughs> And then you're gonna get your outside top color, which can be any color, any color. Um, and I'm just gonna get about that much. We're not gonna be using that much, but I'm gonna be maybe a little bit more than that. Okay, I'm going to be rolling it out so we can um, cover the creamsicle and just kind of condition that. Now that you are done conditioning your clay, or if it is preconditioned already, you're going to um, just roll it into a kind of log shape. And I'm just going to roll this out. Sorry, my paper might move. Okay. So for this, you're going to want to make sure that it can overlap. Um, so what we're going to do is just cut off the top and then you're going to cut the uneven edges and they, you don't have to cut them perfectly. Like as you can see, I left one side rounded. So then I'm going to, yeah, I just think I'm gonna cut the other side. Okay, so next you are going to cut, I already said cut, sorry, going to put the popsicle right alongside one of the already pre-cut edges, and you're going to leave a little slack 
at the end of your popsicle edge. And um, as you know, polymer clay stretches, but you could usually leave a little um, bit more to, I kind of left mine short, but you could leave more and then cut it out in the end, but I'm just pinching it to get it over the edges. I'm gonna zoom in a little. Okay, I'm already all zoomed in. <laughs> so, um, I'm just going to turn it on the other side because I don't like that side. So it's gonna look like this on the bottom and we're gonna be fixing everything, just making a whole new shape and everything. So now press down the top edges. So it will look kind of like a flattened box at the top and just kind of um, cut off the axis and make sure you do not cut too close or else you will see the top. <laughs> Okay, round all the seams and smush them together. And we're just gonna, by the way, this is a messy project, well not messy, it will look kind of bad at first, but when you smooth out all the edges and everything, you're gonna have an improved look. So, um, yeah. Mine is a little fat here. But just a little fat. As you can see, I did not leave enough slack, so it's kind of over, it's kind of not as thick as the other side, so it kind of looks bad. That's why you want to leave slack, because I didn't leave slack, like I just pinched it. So I usually, usually don't want to pinch it. Okay, after you're done with that, it's kind of dirty, but my clay is kind of dirty, you are going to um, just get a toothpick or your blade and you're going to do two edges in here as long and as deep as you want actually I think I want to do it with a toothpick so like that so once you're done doing that it will look like this. It should look like this. Oh yes, and I forgot to mention that you will also need um, cookie cutter. So, sorry, this tutorial is so long. So next, you're just going to cut out a part for the bite mark, and it will just look like that. And you can kind of just make it more realistic by just dragging a toothpick down through it. Okay, so I'm just gonna do it, just flatten it. So that is my inside. So next you're just going to stick the toothpick pick And you should have a popsicle or a creamsicle that looks like this. So this is All Things Cupcake 2000, and I hope you enjoyed this very long tutorial. And um, have a nice day. Bye.